everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you guys are um, having a beautiful Saturday. It's early morning here, and um, I'm getting ready to head out to go see the kids at the hospital. Uh, they can't have visitors in the hospital, but they let Blade bring Cheyenne out in a wheelchair to the um, to the outside visiting area, and so we're going to go, me and uh, Tex and Terry are going to take me and we're going to go up there and visit with the kids So I wanted to get my video made and get it up there uh, For you guys to enjoy and I hope you guys have a blessed day um, uh, This is Something that I've been thinking about for a while and you know a lot of us love to cook homemade from scratch but there are times in our lives, even those of us that love to make everything from scratch, there's times when, boy, it's been a hectic day, things are crazy, and you just want to come in and grab something off the shelf, put it together real quick, and put it in the oven or put it on the stovetop. And, uh, and this recipe is no different. This is actually a recipe for a mix to have on your shelf. You can make a single batch or you can double it, triple it. You can make a big uh, glass container of it. Today, I'm going to make a double batch. But I'm, as I'm making it, I'm just going to be giving the, you the ingredients for a single batch. And what got me to thinking about it was a product that I grew up with a lot. Uh, my family, uh, when my mama would... Uh, need a cake mix or something and they would put them on sale a lot of times she would buy and I don't know that this is regional but for us in our area that we were in we were always able to find the little quick and cheap uh, this is a cornbread muffin mix uh, she was able to find this when she was able to find cake mixes that were really cheap in this same brand but you can't always find this and the prices are going up on everything and if you can make something at home from the ingredients that you have for a quick convenience food well why not do it and it brought that back to my mind when a sweet little friend of mine that I met through YouTube sent me this little booklet and it has all kinds of recipes in it using the products that I just talked about and I thought you know you uh, it's a neat little recipe book. It has some good recipes in it. There has to be a way um, to use these things, and there is. This is a uh, cornbread muffin mix that you can have on your shelf, and when you get it all together, uh, you can uh, put it on your shelf, and you can uh, use your vacuum sealer and pull a vacuum on it, um, and that way you, you won't have anything get in your jar. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, if you're quick to ro rotate stuff, as long as you're just putting it in your quick pantry, like this pantry behind me is the stuff that I use every single day. But I have another pantry where I keep the bulk of my foods that I have uh, canned and dehydrated and that kind of stuff because this simply, it does. I don't have enough room here, and that is my bulk storage and so you I don't know that you would want to put this recipe in your bulk storage because it's so easy to throw together and have uh, any time that you use it then make it again and um, and just keep it in your uh, your pantry that's a quicker turnaround and then you don't have to worry about bugs and that kind of stuff but I would definitely put it in a glass container or a lock and lock or Tupperware something that is going to seal and keep any of those little furry critters out of remember my videos from the other day with those uh, little huh, those little boogers Okay, so I'm going to um, pan the camera down so that you guys can see what's going on. It's just a few simple ingredients. To make the mix, you need five ingredients. And then when you go to mix it and bake it, you, there's three other ingredients just for the corn muffins or the cornbread itself. Uh, it's that. If you're going to make some of the other recipes, then of course you add other things to it. So... I've blabbed, blabbed, blabbed enough. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see what's going on. These ingredients are going to look like more than what I'm telling you, and that's because I'm doubling the recipe, but giving you the instructions, uh, the ingredient amounts 
for a single batch. So for a single batch, you need one cup of flour and you need one cup of cornmeal. Now, of course, I've got to add another uh, cup because I'm doubling the batch. So I'm going to add another cup of cornmeal in here. You need a half a cup of sugar, just regular sugar. You need one teaspoon of salt. And you need three teaspoons of baking powder. And it's just as simple as going in and getting all this stuff incorporated together. And I'm going to use my little whisk here that I got from Ray to Cutlery. And uh, I got it on one of the um, trips that we went to, um, that Howie and I went to the Amish uh, community and one of their stores. And they have, I wouldn't say every Amish store, but the ones that I've been to, they have a big selection of Rada cutlery, and uh, I usually, that was a big thing for me every year to, um, I'll just share with you while I'm getting this mixed up. When I would go to the, the Amish stores, there were certain things that I always looked for every year at each of the stores that we went to, the ones that were on, you know, that we um, went to each year as uh, tradition. One of the stores, I would always get they're dish rags, and uh, I just love these dish rags. They are um, a real stretchy material, and, and uh, they're white with colored stripes, and I don't know. They're just kind of vintage-y looking, and, and uh, I love them. And uh, so we would get, I would get four, five, or six of them every year. And I would always look for pieces of Rada cutlery to add to my uh to my collection and so uh, if you've never tried them see if you can't find some Rada cutlery my favorite favorite thing from them is the tomato slicer and I had two of them and I can't find my second one I don't know if I um, gave it to Cheyenne I just I don't know where it's at but anyway I love my tomato cutter tomato slicer and I have a cheese uh, slicer, cheese cutter, and uh, paring knives. And so I was working on um, getting my pieces collected. I got this all incorporated here. And it's just a matter of getting it put into the jar. Have my jar and funnel here. Now I'm thinking we'll see if this all fits in here. I don't know if it's going to. But I'm going to just simply get it put in this mason jar. <laughs> without making too much of a mess that I just did. It probably would have helped if I turned my bowl over this way where I had a larger spout. This is a bowl that Howie bought me for my birthday one year and um, it's a vintage bowl. Green's my favorite color and it has the small spout and the large spout. I have a, Howie has an ant that uh, she can't believe that I use these vintage pieces because she collects them and she just keeps them up on the shelf. But I want to use them for my family. And for, I love, you know, setting a pretty table and using my things that were gifted to me. And, and uh, I hope you guys do too. Don't save all your fine china for a rainy day. Use it now while you got your kids and your family around you. You'll be glad you did. I don't know guys. This is going to be awfully close.
So this uh, will be something that will be easy, uh, you know, with with the kids and expecting little Howie and we're not really sure she's going to go to full term. What that may entail and plus just having a newborn in general. This is something that, uh, you know, if if Blade and Cheyenne are, are you know, cooking or and I'm not here, this is something they can pull off the shelf quickly or, or if you're tired or you got a fussy baby or you got a work project that's going to have to be taken care of. Um, you know, this is two batches. Now this will make a um, an eight or nine inch skillet, iron skillet of cornbread, or one of those small nine by nine pans of cornbread, or corn muffins. Now what you do is put your lid on here, but I see that I've got uh, um, corn meal mix on my rim so I want to make sure I get that clean and then I'll put the lid on there. So there you have it. A cornbread mix that you can have on your shelf when you just need something quick and simple to throw together and get in the oven. Whether you want a little bit a little cornbread or corn muffin and then the the variety uh, is big. You can make it sweet by adding honey. You can add jalapenos and cheese, different kinds of cheeses. There's a corn casserole that I'll be making for you using this mix, and it is delicious uh, um, with um, uh, cream style corn and sour cream and some peppers and other things. And I'll make that for you another day. So what you're going to need is. For one batch, you're going to need two cups of this mix. And you're going to need one cup of milk, a fourth of a cup of oil, and one egg. You're simply going to mix it all together and put it into a greased, an 8 inch or a 9 inch uh, iron skillet. You can use your little baking dish, the little uh, 9 inch baking dish, or you can use your muffin tins. And then uh, you're going to put them in the oven. Uh, let me check my... For your skillets, it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes at 400 degrees. And it's going to take about 15 minutes for your muffins. Now, every oven is different, so make sure that you, you know how fast or slow, how slow yours cooks and adjust it accordingly. But I hope you guys give this little recipe a try. It's something that um, will make it really easy. And... Also, I'll tell you, when the, all the sickness first got started back um, last year in 2020, I don't know the reason why, but cornmeal was one of the things that I had trouble being able to get each time that I uh, was going to the store. Now, I was trying my best to order and have pickup, and so I wasn't going into the store. So maybe, perhaps it was there, but when I, every time I tried to order, and this went on for a couple of months, I was unable to get cornmeal. Um, I had in my storage, in my freezer, uh, is how I like to store cornmeal. Um, if it's not in this quick pantry, I like to store my cornmeal in the freezer because it just doesn't last as long as, as other uh, as other things and so um, I, somehow when I had my uh, stuff and I had it in the freezer I didn't pay any attention to the fact that I had cornmeal mix and not corn meal and I was wanting to use cornmeal for breading and um, I couldn't get my hands on it so make sure that you're paying attention to those ingredients that might seem really simple and for some reason you may not be able to get so, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe uh, for this simple mix, and I'll, I'll bring that recipe to you later. For my little friend that sent me this little cookbook, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been wonderful to uh, go down memory, memory lane and remember the things that my mama did, and uh, I'm off to see the kids. Hey guys, I want to say thank you to those of you that have blessed the kids um, and and blessed us also with your prayers. That's the most important thing. Um, the kids are doing pretty good and the baby's doing great. Uh, they're still monitoring them and um, she hasn't had any uh, big upsets. There hasn't been any trouble and so we feel blessed by that. 
uh, and I, it's time for me to go. So, all right, guys, this is Josie with Cedar Creek Homestead. I love you. I really do. Until next time, look well to the ways of your household, and uh, we're gone.